Hey guys, welcome to another video on how to customize your one gauge LCD screen. I'm going to go through uh, today how to adjust the pages so that you can add or remove designs from your screen and basically how to change the navigation of your screen um, on your dash. So I'm in the, um, the debug window of the Nextian editor just to kind of show you a little bit about how these work. Um, on your live dash, when you touch the bottom and the right, the bottom left and right corners, uh, you can navigate between the different screen designs. And you'll notice that each of the designs has a number. And so that's the page number. It matches the page numbers over here on the right hand side when you're in the Nextian editor. And that's important because it allows the user to set a home page, which is the page that the screen autom automatically boots to when you start the one gauge system. So for example, if you set your home page to page 12, this is what you're going to see when you start the one gauge setup. Now to change that, you can just go to the settings menu by clicking in the top left corner. You go to setup menu and then screen setup and you can change the home screen number so that it will boot to whatever screen you're looking to have. Now I had a good question from a customer about what to do if they don't want to have to scroll through all of these different designs. Maybe they just want to have two or three different designs that they plan on using on their dash. And so what I don't recommend doing is actually deleting these from um, this window. So you can delete these pages, but what will happen is your order will get thrown off for your screen number. So if I were to, to delete num page number three, then all of a sudden off-road is now going to become the third page. And so if, uh, if you set the home page to four, hoping that you get the off-road screen, it's not gonna work. You're gonna get the classic um, transparent screen instead. So instead what I recommend doing is just changing the way that these buttons allow you to navigate. So now it looks like I accidentally deleted a button down here, which is not good. But um, what you can do, there it is. So each of these buttons down in the bottom corners will navigate you to a different page. And you can see that right here. So you could do it in one of two ways. Um, basically, if you, so for example, if you wanted to skip Rubio and go straight to Retro, you would just change this right, this bottom right hand button to Retro and it will kind of autofill for you. So now if I go to my editor, my debug screen and I click and then if I click in the bottom right corner it's going to skip that screen and go to the next one so um, what you can do then is just set um, you know whatever screens you want to automatically move through and and skip the pages that you don't want um, hopefully that makes sense you need to do this for both forward and backward navigation if you want both to work. So for example, this, the bottom left corner is meant to take you in reverse order of the screen so it would go back to the end of the list which is down here in the, the 30s, let's see, Carbon 2 is the last design that I have active on the screen. And so notice this one would take you back to the Euro page which is the first one. So, um, that's the easiest way to simplify your screen. So if you know, you can also move the order of these pages around. Again, I don't recommend that because that's going to mess up your home page order. So the easiest way is just to just um, change the navigation of, of these pages so that when you click on this one, it will take you to the first page that you want. And then on that page, you'll need to edit this button to go to the next page and so on and so on. What I also don't recommend doing is deleting any of these buttons because say for example, somehow you accidentally navigate to a screen that's on here, to be able to get off that screen, you've gotta be able to have the navigation buttons. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to reset the system um, to be able to get back to your home screen. So I hope all that makes sense. Um, you know, I'll take an example. If you were adding a new screen, we did this um, with some of the other, the part one and part two examples. So if you add a new screen, uh, what I would do is I would put move this new page up to the end. So I'd put it right after carbon two. And then what I would do is I would take all four of the buttons from this page and I would copy them. So I can use control, click on all four, copy them, and then paste them onto my new page right 
Okay, so now I got all four of those buttons. And so in this instance, I want this bottom left button to go back to carbon two. And then I want this button on right here to go to euro. But I also need to think about, I need to change carbon two so that it goes to the new page, which is currently named page zero. And I need to change the first screen up here, euro, to go back to page zero. That way all the navigation works correctly. Okay, so if I test that out, and I recommend doing this before you upload the screen file, I click on here, it's gonna take me to the first screen. Now if I click go back a screen, I go to my page zero, I go back another screen, I go to carbon. And then if I go forward a screen, I go to page zero and then back to euro, which is what you want. So you wanna be able to have all that navigation included. So hopefully this all makes sense. It's a little bit complicated like everything else with these screens, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's, it's pretty easy to navigate. And again, I always recommend testing using the debug window up here before you actually try to upload the dash to uh, your one gauge screen in your vehicle. As always, you can reach out to us and ask questions, info at the one gauge .com. Hopefully this helps and uh, enjoy your dashes.